Breaking news, the deceit, the lies have started. A few weeks ago, um, Ibrahim Badamusi Babangida told Nigerians that he categorically mentioned Tinubu and Atiku, that they are no good to become Nigerians president due to age and other factors, which he clearly stated. However, yesterday we saw the leader of APC, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, paid a visit to former head of state, Babangida, for endorsement and to announce to him his, his uh, intention to run for the presidential election. When we say to you that politicians, most of them, if not all, are liars, you will think, okay, that we, we just want to, you know, wash them down and all that. You'll be shocked what Babangida said, which has been making rounds and Nigerians are like, oh my word, these people are such, are, are such a wicked and different set of people. When they see whatever, you, you know, when they go there with endorsement, they say, uh, when they go, go to ask for endorsement, uh, no problem now, that's what you want, right? Okay, so what I'll do is, uh, what I need, I need this. Okay, so you make my this, that, that, that. That's all. And it's settled. Let's get all the details. Babangida shocked Nigerians, which has caused serious reactions about what he said over Tinubu's presidential ambition. The national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Tinubu, is said to remain one of the finest politicians in the country. Many Nigerians still commend him for the impeccable achievement he recorded as the former governor of Lagos State and his unpredicated contribution to the formation of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC. As the 2023 general election draws close, the presidential ambition of Bola Tinubu is coming clearer to Nigerians. You will recall that by the end of 2021, Tinubu, who is currently making consultation, met a popular northern elder, Halaji Tanko Yakasi, and discussed his presidential ambition with a prominent northern elder recently. Tinubu formally announced his ambition to President Muhammadu Buhari, and President, according to Tinubu, gave a go-ahead to run for the presidency of the country. Tinubu disclosed that despite discussing his presidential ambition with the president, he's still in consultations with other relevant stakeholders. As the consultation of Tinubu continues, he has visited Niger State, which is part of the north, northern central of Nigeria, this time to see former military head of state, Ibrahim Badamusi Babangida. Bola Tinubu disclosed to journalists that he visited the state to commemorate with Governor Abu Bakar Bello and the people of Niger State and could and, and also to visit Brabangida without paying a costly visit to the former military head of state will be insultive. Tinubu, who donated a sum of 50 million naira to victims of bandit and terrorist attack in the state, didn't say much on his visit when he visited the victims. But with Babangida, Babangida said he's one of the finest politicians in the country and that as the general election draws near, Nigerians should give their support to such a man who can take Nigeria to the next level. Tinubu disclosed that Nigeria is a democratic nation and he's voluntarily decided to run for the presidency and adding that Babangida gave him his prayers. Further speaking, Tinubu lamented over the security challenges and said he will fix it if he becomes the president of the country. So, is it not the same Babangida that told you all? Can you see the difference? Well, we cannot see it, right? The same Babangida told Nigerians that no, nobody less than, uh, anybody less than a particular number of years of age should not be given the opportunity to to campaign at all. In fact, Nigerians should not listen to such a one. Ah, Nigerians, ah, no, 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 no. One's beaten twice shy. We should have learned by now. And nobody should take the likes of Tinubu and Abubakar uh, and uh, Atsiku Abubakar. If they intend to run for the presidency, nobody should give them any form of support. But guess what? The same person, not a different person, 
Okay, the same person. When you look at them, you still think that they, there's a difference between them, that one of them or the other person really means well for Nigeria. <clears throat> You'll be shocked to know that they are all birds of a feather and they flock together. You'll be shocked to know that they're on the same page in some of the things they do and how they go about things and how they, you know, how they behave. They're on the same page. This is what they do. This is how they roll. You are the one thinking that, you know, uh, you, you know, this person is different. Ah, I'm going to make something worthwhile. Ah, no, no, things are going to... You'll be shocked. You will be thoroughly be shocked. You know, Obangida surprised Nigerians. It really surprised Nigerians. So don't get it twisted, okay? The person you see and you think that, you know, it means well. This person is going to, you know, is going to, uh, no, no, is going to stand on his ground and is going to say to everybody, I do not involve or engage in anything that will be disastrous to the nation because I think that in my time I made a mistake and um, the best thing for me to do now is to correct those mistakes by doing, by making the right decision, by taking the right step and doing the right thing. You'll be shocked to know that every one of them, to a large extent, they are the same people. Yeah, the same people. You are the one who think that they want change, that they want difference. But you'll be shocked that they are the same people. Okay? They are the same people. So these are part of some of the things going on. These are part of the things, you know, we are experiencing and it's happening before our very eyes. Listen, guys. The time to make a difference, the time to arise is now. Okay? The time to arise is now. The time to speak about evil and all that is happening in this country that will potentially bring the nation in a bad light, in a bad perspective is now. You know, what's happening and what is going on shows to us that there are people, okay? There are people who do not, you know, want things at all to go well. There are people who are, who are, who don't mind, who don't mind. They just do their own thing. They don't mind. This is what they do. They don't mind. Whatever happened, they can't be bothered. You know, they can't be bothered. That's the kind of country we are in. And God help us because I don't know where we're going to go from here. If we continue with this kind of people and with all that is happening and there is really no, no true change, I don't know how the country is going to survive with such men, with such hearts. You see, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like, or share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now. Bye.